Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my main progression series. I have never maxed an account in RuneScape, not even close, but this is going to be my first attempt in doing so. I have been investing a lot of time, but even more than that, a lot of money into maxing this account as quickly as possible. Now today is going to involve another big investment on my part into another viable skill. This will actually be one of my last viable skills available after that. Nowhere left to hide, we're going to have to start training some of these slower ones. But to me, every 99 I get motivates me more, and hopefully that motivation will carry me through some of the longer grinds, who knows. Anyway guys, I really hope you're enjoying the series. As always, if you do, I really appreciate it. If you leave the video a like, it really does help my video get recommended uh, to other people who maybe haven't seen my channel before, so it helps out a lot. Anyway guys, let's get started. Alright, so here are my stats as of the last episode. Uh, we're currently at a total level of 2,000. And 42 so we're getting up there now one big thing I want to tackle today is maxing out my combat uh, 126 is the ceiling and we're mainly missing uh, quite a few prayer levels and a few defense levels uh, so I really want to tackle that today now we're gonna start off by doing a bit of combat training we might as well be doing Slayer all the time obviously as we've maxed every other combat style we're gonna be training on defensive for everything uh, we kind of blew through a bunch of points in a few episodes ago, so we're going to try to earn those back. We're not really going to skip anything. Mainly what I'm looking for here are maybe a Cerberus task. Those are the best in my opinion. Tons of combat experience and decent enough Slayer experience. You know what? I've been doing this task wrong all along. I never had my uh, Dragon Hunter Lance on Crush. It's actually so much better. My god. Blood Veld's are still one of the best tasks in the game in my opinion. For me, I think it's actually my ideal task as well. Tons of Slayer experience, up to 80k per hour, and competitive melee training, that is definitely the best task for me. Okay, so we actually ended up getting a Cerberus task, and we're about halfway through it, but we're about to get a big level up coming in here, and that is going to be 96 defense. Only three more levels to go after that. Uh, no drop on this task so far, unfortunately, but really I'm kind of mainly in it for combat training, which we're getting loads of. Three more levels and I will have maxed every offensive combat stat. Alright guys, we are ready now for another big investment monetarily into this account. Now this is going to be for 99 prayer and we're going to be getting it with the most expensive and of course the quickest method in the entire game and that would be burying superior dragon bones at a POH. Now burying it in someone's house is substantially quicker than doing it at the chaos altar. Granted it is way more expensive, literally twice as much. Now to get 99 prayer currently at a POH with superior dragon bones is around 180 mil. That is extremely expensive, although the prices have gone down a lot over the last couple of months. Uh, so it is still way cheaper than it was a year ago, but still, I mean, 180 mil for a viable skill, uh, one that's not even that useful, you know, it is definitely questionable. But as you have probably realized by now, this channel isn't really about making uh, smart decisions per se, but uh, whatever is the quickest. Except for, of course, uh, tick manipulation because I'm not a monster. Now to get 99 prayer, we're going to need around 20,000 superior dragon bones. Well, we're just going to cost 179 mil. We're not getting any of that money back. That is all just going to be flushed right down the toilet. Now, the Wilderness Chaos Altar is definitely a tempting option. And I do understand that if you are doing it correctly, the actual risk you were taking is fairly small. Like, you're not going to lose that much. But I honestly just tried doing it for a couple hours, and I just really didn't enjoy it. And I was just never getting around to getting 99 Prayer that way. Uh, so in the end, I decided to go with the POH method, which is way more relaxed and higher experience rates. Now the interesting thing about this method is there are a few different ways to do it. There is the full AFK way, which will earn you around uh, 650k per hour. There's the semi-AFK way that will earn you around 850 to 900k per hour. And then of course there is the high intensity clicking method. They can earn you up to 1.3 million experience per hour, which is one of the quickest training methods in the entire game. But really, no matter how you slice it, this method is extremely expensive. But you know it's uh, way cheaper than that, and not nearly as expensive as burning 180 mil for almost no reason. That would be a subscription to Skillshare, which is the sponsor of today's video. 
Now simply put, Skillshare is an online community that helps you develop new skills. Honestly, most of the skills that I've learned that I still use today have been through some form of self-learning. As I'm a huge fan of communities like Skillshare because they make learning very accessible. You know when you're grinding away at RuneScape and you're a little bored so you're watching like TV or YouTube or whatnot? Well instead of that, recently I've been watching a couple classes on Skillshare and learning a few new skills along the way. Uh, the only exception to that rule of course is uh, the flipping old school channel. That guy's uh, pretty awesome and you should uh, definitely continue to watch his videos. Over the last couple of months I've taken quite a few courses on Skillshare, uh, one on personal finance, uh, one on investing, DJing, Adobe Illustrator, and uh, this month actually we're taking one on Premiere Pro. This is actually another class hosted by a guy named Jordi who runs a very successful YouTube channel called Cinecom. Uh, so obviously it's very relevant to me and I've learned a lot from him. Skillshare is always adding in new classes and a yearly subscription is less than $10 a month. With that said though, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium as uh, so you can try it out risk free. So if you're looking for a way to support the channel, definitely go check them out. And thanks a lot to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. There is our very first prayer level coming in, 83 prayer, the first of many. We started the grind off obviously at 82, which means we have quite a few levels to go and the grand majority of our total experience left ahead of us. There is level 84 prayer and there's level 85, a nice clean number. Okay, so as you might imagine, the AFK method is very simple. You just use one bone on the altar and wait. It produces around 650k per hour, so if you're looking to really not pay attention, that's the way to go. Now the high intensity method involves trying to click through your bones as quickly as possible. There isn't really a hard limit on how much experience per hour you can get here. 1.3 mil is a good average, but I mean if you're really good at clicking you can get more than that. Or of course less, there's always that option. Now personally I've been alternating between the high intensity method and somewhere in between. Now if you're not looking to break your wrists, a good uh, compromise is to use a bone in between every auto berry. So for example, one would automatically bury and then use another bone and then another one will bury. This will speed up your experience rates by around 200k per hour which is fairly substantial and is much less click intensive than the quickest method. But anyway guys, we have a lot of prayer training ahead of us so let's get started. Alright guys, this is it. Uh, somehow I miscalculated by about 15 bones, don't know what happened there. But this is our last inventory, this is going to be 99 prayer. Uh, it took me around 10 hours I would say, I wasn't doing it full tilt the entire time, but you know what, we did it pretty quickly. You could do it a bit quicker, you could do it way slower, but you know what, it doesn't really matter, we have another 99 under our belt. A couple more bones here and we are going to be done, which means we only have one more combat skill to do and then we're fully maxed. There we go guys, there is level 99 prayer. That is awesome. I've actually kind of lost count how many 99s we have now, which you know isn't really such a bad thing. Look at all these people here that are definitely here for my uh, 99 party. Okay, so we have to talk to brother Jared and he will actually get me the prayer cape, which is cool. The cape looks pretty cool, although I wouldn't say I'm uh, color coordinated right now. You know what, that is pretty cool, I will take that. Hey. Thanks 69 Bond Cat, I appreciate it. Well there we go, 99 prayer is done with, but now of course, how expensive was that compared to other options that were available, and would I do it again? Now in the end here, my total cost is, well, pretty simple. 180 mil I spent on bones, that's all gone, we didn't have to spend any more money, but we didn't get anything back either. Now on average, my GP to XP was around 18, uh, which is quite expensive. 
Now if I had decided to bury these at the Wilderness Chaos Altar, I would have only spent 90 mil. Or alternatively, I could have buried regular Dragon Bones at a POH for around 8 GP to XP. However, in the end though, with the prayer skill, you kind of just get what you pay for. The GP to XP is generally priced accordingly, except for stuff like Ensouled Dragon Heads and of course using the Wilderness Chaos Altar. For pretty much anyone out there who's trying to be somewhat cost effective, Wilderness Chaos Altar is definitely the way to go. However, if you have extra money to spend, I personally enjoy the more relaxed approach of just doing it in someone's POH. The Wilderness Chaos Altar is inevitably going to be slower, you're going to get harassed, you might die a couple times, you might have to go back and get your enchanted symbol or locator orb or something. It's just definitely going to be slower, but for the majority of people, definitely worth the cost saving. Anyway guys, that is going to be it for today's video, another 99 under our belt. Next episode, we hopefully will max out our combat and start working on the next 99. Now before I go here, I want to give a massive thank you to one of my newest subscribers, James Luft, who just subscribed at the Dragon tier of YouTube membership, joining Brad Sings, Tizdok Bunny, Revolver Ocelot, and Kush Patel, all the Dragon tier. That's amazing, guys. Thank you so much. And also a huge shout out to Luke Kaiser, Base Titch, Heathen, OSRS, and Double Talk for your continued support. If you guys are looking for an additional way to support the channel, becoming a YouTube member is an awesome way to do so. You can become immortalized in some of my videos, get access to my video release schedule, as well as get a custom role in my Discord channel. Thanks again guys, and I'll see you next time.